Hi everyone, welcome to a Stride feature announcement. Today we're gonna to be recapping the new software release on Android and talking all about the Stride mobile app and its functionality. You can open up the Stride mobile app after making sure you have the most recent download and updated software update to find the normal home screen. From there, we will go to the library section where we will dive into the brand new features. Once we press library, you'll notice now that there are two different sections up at the top. We have our normal workout and we also have training plans. Let's click on training plans and take a look. When we initially go into the training plan library section, you should notice that we don't have any training plan collections. Let's go ahead and add a new collection and call this half marathon. Let's build a half marathon plan today and dive all into the brand new features, taking a look at the training plan library. Once we have our library there, let's go ahead and press the plus button to create a training plan underneath that collection. We'll be presented with an initial screen that is gonna ask us what our average weekly volume is. This will give us a scale and a bit of information to start building the plan around your specifications. The next question is gonna be how many weeks we would like our training plan to be. Let's go ahead and select 12 weeks for our training plan. And our next question here is gonna be how many days per week we would like to be running. Let's select five days for this example. And then the next question we're gonna ask is what day we'd like to do our long run. I'm gonna select Saturday for this, but you can move it around as you'd like. Once we finish all those questions, it asks us if we're ready to customize. Let's press okay to proceed and go forward. Once we select what day we'd like to do our long run on, we get dropped into the plan overview where we can start to inspect a couple different areas of the brand new features. Starting off, we have the name of the plan. You can go in and edit this as you would like. And we also have a countdown for how many weeks are left in the plan. We have a array of different vertical bars that represent the buildup throughout the plan. And we have our distribution of our easy runs, our workouts, and our long runs. If we scroll down a little bit, we will see our weekly averages for stress. We will have our weekly averages for our distance and our weekly averages for our time. We can then see in a little bit closer detail as well, our plan makeup and the different distribution between again, easy runs, workouts, and long runs. If we scroll down a bit more, we start to get into the phase information. We have a couple different phases that have different unique makeups, and these are generated based on the information that you give us, including number of days you wanna run, how many weeks you want your plan to be, and your weekly volume. We can expand to get a little bit more detailed view here to look a little bit more closely at the specific variation between the phases. For example, our base phase might be a little bit different than our specific threshold phase or our specific phase and our interval phase, as well as our taper and our testing phases. We encourage you to look a little bit more in detail and then we can get to customizing our plan a little bit more. At this point, we can also add another week into different phases and we can edit things a little bit before we move on to saving our training plan. If we're satisfied with how the plan looks, we can press save to move on to the next part of the feature release. Once we press save, we will see our training plan collection in the training plan library. Let's go in and edit a few things and show off how we can create a little bit more flexibility specifically in the training plan generator. Once we get into that, let's press the top right corner and press the vertical three dots and edit our plan. For this example, I'm gonna go in and edit the first week of the threshold phase delete one of the workouts and then add in a new workout. I'll expand the view and then press edit. And then after pressing edit, I'll get dropped into a little bit more detailed zoomed in view where I can look at the days in a little bit more detail. I'll scroll down to the workout and I'll remove it and then add a new workout from the workout library. I'm presented with some options before I enter a workout from the workout library. I have easy, workout, long, create new workout, and that uses the workout builder from scratch or workout library. I'm gonna sub in a time-based workout I think will work well as a threshold session early on in my training plan. A three times 10 minute threshold session sounds pretty good to me. I'll enter that and it's easily dropped into my training plan. I can use this same flow for any part of my training plan in the training plan editor section. I can simply remove a day, 
add a new session and I can use those pre-filled easy workout or long run sections. And I can also create a brand new workout from scratch or use one of the workouts from the vast, vast array of power-based workouts in the Stride Workout Library. Once I'm satisfied with that, I'm gonna save it and then start my plan. I can start my plan by following the same flow we did to edit the plan. That's by pressing the top right corner in the three vertical dots to start my plan. The plan will ask me when my race is. Since this is a 12 week plan, I'm gonna set it for about 12 weeks out and then mark my start date. I'm again gonna keep my long run on Saturday when it asks me and then my plan will populate to my calendar. After I get the successful message, I'm gonna go back and then I'm going to go to our analysis tab to take a look at how the training plans look like as we move through them. I'll have the initial option of looking at all my data or my current plan, and I'm gonna select current plan so we can see the brand new features associated with our plan analysis. We'll see at the top that since I haven't started my plan, all the bars are grayed out, and it shows me how much running stress score I have left to go in that week. As we add new sessions, we'll specifically see a very nice orange color start to fill up the bars as we progress through our training plan. If we scroll down a little bit, we'll see our training conditions, which is our average of the last 90 days. And we'll also see a predicted power duration curve for the plan. I can add an event in here. So if I'm training for a specific event, I can tie that event into my training plan and have a countdown and see my projected time and power as it changes through my training plan. I can then see the default this week view, which shows me my training sessions to come up for this week. I can go in and edit things if I'd like, or I can just get a reminder as I move through the training week. I think this is a great visualization of how the different power-based workouts look like and our runs that are upcoming for the week. Since the default view is this week, I can go in and change that and I can change it to next week or any of the weeks in my training plan. So I can make really quick and easy edits in my training plan in this same view. We hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the brand new features that we're bringing today to Android and the Stride mobile app. That is the training plan generator, training plan editor, and training plan analysis. We look forward to bringing this update to iOS in the very near future and continue to expand the availability and offering of great training in the Stride ecosystem. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.